TYT Sports Locked Out here in uh, Culver City, California. Ben, welcome to the Locked Out Studios. It's been a while since you've been here. Thanks for coming. Uh, thanks for having me. Hard to find. <laughs> it is hard to find. We're, we're in a little area here that's hard to find. Okay, so uh, Brad Stevens has just been named the Boston Celtics head coach. Uh, my initial reaction was, huh? Brad Stevens out of anybody? But, however, we were talking – in the office yesterday, and you were throwing out a few names that just got hired, whether it was assistant uh, coaches or head coaches, and you were even saying that you don't know who the hell these guys yeah, are. There were a couple of guys who sound like they were in the German army in World War II. Can you give me an example? They were like a Helfenbacher and a Jorger. Um, but uh, this makes total sense. Uh, because they're rebuilding? It makes total sense because he might be one of the great basketball minds of his generation. We don't know yet. Um, you know, the success at Butler, 166 and 49, the back-to-back -back national championship games, all the success in the Horizon League. Obviously, he can coach. He's a game coach. He can get the most out of young players. That, as we've learned, that doesn't always translate. But he is only Rick Pitino. Yeah, but, it, it, but he's only 36 years old. And I would imagine that the – my hunch is – I would hire him. If the Wizards had had an opportunity to hire him, I'd be thrilled because there's a chance – that you've really struck something and you might have a great, great coach for the next 10 or 15 years. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. And then all of a sudden it's easier from Brad Stevens' point of view to come back yeah. and land at a high major, a job he had, you know, he had trouble leaving Butler for this year, UCLA, UCLA and last year's other big programs. He was clearly close at UCLA. Um, now, if it doesn't work out in a couple of years in the NBA, he'll come back and he'll be the next coach at Ohio State right. or Duke or who knows where, you know? Right. Yeah. yeah. That, that actually, uh, Dave Kohler made that point that, you know what, because of Rick Pitino and a few others, and I mean, even look at Nick Saban in football. I mean, no, if, no. They're, if they're not successful in the NFL or in the NBA, they can always go back and there will always be a place for them in an, college basketball. An elite place for a guy like Brad Stevens in, at, at age, he could be back before he's 40. Yeah. But I think there's every chance that he could be a great NBA coach. Um, you know, he's clearly a really smart and, and grounded guy. And, you know, uh, that I, I hope he'll succeed. I think it's a great it's right. a, and it's a great place because nobody's going to care uh, when he goes 17 and 65 in the first year. No one will care, you think? No, they're not trying this year. Well, I mean, yeah, this year. But I mean, look, I looked at the free agency class next year. There are a lot of good names. Yeah, right. So let's right. say they do land two of those big names. Well, then he'll have to win. But I think he's a great coach. We'll turn into an Eric Spolstra type situation where they get a big star, and then it's like, oh, well, the stars are running the team, not the coach. Nobody doubts Brad Stevens' acumen or the his the right he has to be an NBA head coach. Nobody's handed him anything. He's succeeded wildly. He's succeeded in a way. He's taken a path that others haven't taken. But this is not a guy who needs to go into the NBA and be an assistant coach. I mean, if he's going to go to the NBA, it's going to be as a head coach. Right. It just happens to be at a storied franchise, but it's perfect. They they have, and it might be two years. I don't know when they're going to strike in free agency. I would think that this, with a with a point guard like Rondo, who is clearly headstrong, like dealing with Rondo is clearly not easy. We can say that, and Doc Rivers did it presumably very well. This, to me, makes it a little, little more likely. Rondo makes it easier for Brad Stevens, no question, but I think it makes it a little more likely that that they on the court that, yes but i think they'll deal rondo i think i think that there's seriously a, yeah i you think, think they're that, gonna trade rondo well first of all i'm hardly alone there was a chance they were gonna trade rondo anyway i think i think this move makes it a little more likely that they say to brad stevens this is look next year sorry this is going to be a disaster we're going to add another significant pick we got what we got a pick from the clippers we got two picks from the nets we got our own pick they're, you're going to add a lot of players and we're going to have money to spend in free agency.